Hey guys, welcome to Pulled Pin Productions, the show that teaches you filmmaking tricks. I'm your host, Matthew Grover, awesome director, sweet cinematographer, and amazing filmmaker. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool space scene inspired by Star Wars. Let's take a look at what we'll be making. Okay, so to make this, you'll need HitFilm Pro. If you don't have HitFilm Pro, you can get the add-on pack for HitFilm Express. Um, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it is cheaper than HitFilm Pro. The 3D models we'll be using are from Video Copilot, and I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can find these because they're 100% free, and they are surprisingly high-quality models for being free. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make a new composite shot. We will call this um, Space Scene make this like five seconds it's not going to be a very long scene okay so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, make the background I used the orb plugin for hit film however I found that really slowed my system down so I just exported the background and brought it in as a uh, image layer. So we'll bring that in. Or I guess it's actually a video layer. See, just the background. And now we will bring in the uh, X-Wing. Okay, so I'm not gonna fully go in on how to animate this because I'm not very good at animating 3D models. But I'll leave a link down in the description to a video that goes over it much better than I could ever hope to explain. But the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a new layer and it's going to be a point layer. We can rename this um, control point. And we will use this point to control where the 3D model is. Let's make this a 3D plane and I'll add a camera. And then we will parent the X wing to the control point. So now, if you see, anywhere we move the control point, the 3D model will follow. Okay, so let's reset that. And I'm going to go with the coordinates that I did for my uh, actual scene. You can play around with it, do whatever you think looks right. Okay, so now we are going to make a keyframe so that the position actually animates. So we'll create a new keyframe, go forward, um, I believe I did about two seconds, two and a half seconds, something like that. So now if we just play that through a little bit. We'll see that the 3D model has a very basic animation. Obviously not anywhere near being done. Because if you notice, the orientation is completely off. It doesn't look like it's actually flying in the direction that it's supposed to be. So to do that, we'll just fix the orientation. Okay, so that looks a bit better. Looks like it's actually flying in the direction that we want it to. But it looks very stiff and like a very basic animation. So let's animate it just a little bit more. 
let's animate it rotating while it's flying. So if we go back a little bit, I believe about two seconds is what I did in my video. Let's just create a keyframe at zero for the X, Y, and Z axis. Then we'll go back to uh, two seconds, 12 frames, and we'll just keyframe this one a little bit. Yeah, I guess we didn't really have to keyframe the X and the Y because we were only messing with the Z rotation. Let's see how this looks so far. Okay, not half bad. Let's add some lights so that it looks like it's supposed to be in our scene a little bit more. Okay, so let's add some lights now. So I'll go new light. We'll just rename this to point light one. Okay. So if we go to controls, we'll leave everything here how it is. But if we go into transform, we will change where it actually is. Okay, so now let's add a second point light. Okay, so we'll once again leave everything here the same, but in transform, I'll adjust it to where I had it in my scene. Like I said, uh, play around lighting is, despite being very technical, it is also a very subjective part of the filmmaking process, especially in visual effects. Light it however you think it looks good in your scene. Okay, so now we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to add a, a sun. So this is going to be a directional light instead of a point like, like the other ones were. So we'll just rename this one. We'll go up to light. And I'm going to change this to a very slight yellow color. And then under position, I'll change it again. Okay, so then let's add a light from the planet because if there's this big planet, you would expect it to be casting some light or reflecting some light onto the spaceship. So we'll go layer, light, rename this to planet. We'll make this one a directional light. Go to transform. The same. And we will change this to more of a brownish color. Okay, so now if we turn each light off, we can kind of see what each of them are doing. So without any lights, it's very flat. It doesn't have much of a texture to it. If we turn on this light, it's casting from the planet. This is the sun. 
bit overexposed like something if it was being cast directly from the sun might be a point light just to kind of brighten up the rest of the ship and then another point light okay so the last thing we have to do for this ship is we will add motion blur so that when it's zooming by the camera it looks like it's actually in motion and not just a still frame every 1 24th of a second so if I pre-render this we will see what it looks like and yeah that's basically the process um, you would just repeat everything for the uh, TIE fighter you wouldn't have to add all the lights in again because it's already in the scene you would just import the 3d model animate it however you like and then you have a space scene so yeah once again I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can find these great 3d models on videocopilot.com I'll leave a couple links down in the description as well for other videos that go over animation in HitFilm a little bit more and just some other helpful videos and yeah thank you for watching this episode of Pulled Pin Productions don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time